Thank you. How are you? Good. 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 Send it. It's not send it. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. 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 Loved you in life on Mars, man. Uh, thank you. Great show. That was the last time I was here in San Diego. Oh, really? Ten years ago. Wow. We promoted that without any footage and without a cast <laughs> here ten years ago. A lot of bemused attendees wandering away from that panel, I can tell you. <laughs> I wanted to ask, uh, now that it's been a couple of years, can you talk about the ending versus the uh, BBC ending? Which one? Uh, you sure. What, what, what's which your one question? You, which one do you prefer? Well, I like, I like our ending, of course. Um, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't have time to plan it. You know, we only had two and a half weeks, I think it was, um, between told that it would be a, a, a season ender as opposed to a series ender. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, the writers did their best to, to come up with an ending that uh, they felt was fitting. And we had a very short amount of time to stage that. But I still think it was, uh, I still stand by it. I think it was creative and uh, some people didn't like it, but um, I, I, I thought it was cool. Was oh, cool. Mm -hmm. What's it like uh, coming back for Batman again? It's great. Uh, I mean, I love it. I never, never get used to it. You know, I, I, it's always appreciative. Never take it for granted. Um, it seems to be almost kind of one a year. Not necessarily a Batman movie, but you know, a movie that might, might feature Batman in some way. Is there anybody's particular take that I guess you don't really? use as reference but maybe like a starting point before you come up with your version your interpretation we have to remember that, that you know justice league war was five years ago i think i might have maybe even started recording it six years ago so um all those decisions had to be made back then you know so we had some lengthy like, discussions about where where we we're going to pitch the voice in terms of you know my own range where sort of Batman lives in me, you know. I have this theory that everybody has, that Batman is, is in everybody. Uh, you know, whatever it is, that uh, the dark part of us that we can use for good. Um, and, and also that voice that, uh, that is iconic, but at the same time needs to be authentic. And uh, it, it, it's, it's no use me kind of putting on some Christian Bale version or uh, or something like that. Like I have to find find my own. So it took it took a while. I think I think just to take war was felt like kind of a work in progress. But now that it's been established, there's not a whole lot I can do with it uh, in terms of changing uh, tone or range. But um, or at least not with Batman. But Bruce Wayne is a little bit more. But I like to bring a lot of Bruce into this, into this iteration of Batman anyway. You know, I think it's important that he's a, a father first in this, in this world. So, um, and because of that, I think it brings quite a bit of emotion with it. Um, and not least to this film, you know, which is just pure emotion. Well, that's the thing. In, I want to get your feeling about the fight. I've seen the movie, and the fight, first of all, is incredible. That whole sequence where he's battling everybody. Yeah. But there's also a vulnerability I sensed in Batman, like in the sense of this could be the end. I mean, that this could really be the thing, like Doomsday could be the end of the world. I don't know if I'm imagining that or not. But no, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. And I think, I think, you know, in a way, Batman and the rest of the Justice League are us when we're as we're reacting to what happens at the end. You know, so um, obviously there's there's a moment there where. Uh, hope is lost and it's uh, very upsetting and, and not least just because they've lost their friend you know but I, I believe that Batman has always uh, built the Justice League around Superman um, and the Superman is the ostensible leader because he's just by far and away the most powerful member so um, without Superman I think, they, I think they know that they're kind of screwed against an enemy like this in your opinion, who would really win in a fight, Superman or Batman? I don't know if I can remember. <laughs> or that you, round or Jerry O'Connell. <laughs> I don't. I think we. Uh, <laughs> the last time I had that conversation, uh, I think there were some drinks involved. That was a long time ago. Um, me and Jerry. It depends. It depends. It looks like he's been working out recently. So um, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Uh, it's hard, to, it's hard not to back Superman, isn't it? I mean, he's just so powerful. It's hard not to back him. Since, since uh, the Lego movies, you know, Will Arnett's Batman has been very, very common.
comical in terms of the voice and sadness and emo things. So how do you avoid yourself turning Batman's voice into a caricature? Because Will Arnett's voice, Batman has made that, that conscious decision. Well, that's what I was saying earlier about uh, uh, trying to find uh, an authentic voice. You know, that's, 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 that's a part of me. Not just people people think it's about like, putting on the Batman voice and just, you know, I'm Batman. You know, anyone, anyone can do that. But um, trying to trying to make it genuine and authentic is the real challenge. And also sounding something like how you'd imagine Batman would sound. But, um... Ready? Yes. That was the cap out. I'm getting the bell. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, I think that's how you avoid it. Yeah, keep it authentic, keep it real. Alright, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Yep, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Cheers. Thank you to Sam Liu, co-director. Sam Liu, I can pronounce it, co-director and producer. <laughs>